Hello friends. Kali Linux is one of the most popular ethical hacking and penetration testing tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on your Android smartphone without rooting it. Yes, you hear that right. You can install Kali Linux on your Android smartphone without rooting it. And the best part is that you can do it using Termux, a terminal emulator for Android. I see there are some videos on how to install Kali Linux on your phone on YouTube, but when you see their video you get an error or doesn't work but today. I will show you just the easier and worked way to install it and 100% it will work if you do what I show you. Without further ado let's start. First of all, we need only three apps to install Kali Linux on your phone. The first app is Termux. To install Termux, first, open your browser or Google then type FDroid Termux. Open the first one. Then scroll a little bit. Click this blue color, download APK. When it finishes downloading, install it on your phone. The second app we need is, and Linux. Open Play Store. Then type in Linux on the search bar. Click the first app or this icon app. Then click install. The last app we need is the NC Viewer. As we install the second one, in your Play Store type the NC Viewer. Install this icon app. Now we installed our three apps let's start our step to install Kali Linux. First of all, open in Linux app. After opening, swipe from left to right. Then click dashboard on top as you can see. Click choose button. As you can see there are a bunch of Linux distribution. Just select Kali. Then tap copy to copy the command. Now open Termux. Then past it that you copied before. It takes time based on your internet just wait I will fast it until it finishes. Dot slash start hyphen Kali dot sh. Now Kali Linux command line interface is installed in Termux so we have to download Kali Linux packages to run the graphical user interface via VNC viewer. Open in Linux app again. Swipe from left to right again. Click on the desktop environment. Choose a desktop environment distro. We want Kali so we will choose Kali. Then select desktop environment just choose the first one. Tap copy to copy command. Then back to Termux. Before we paste the command, I want to tell you something. I try it before by pasting this but actually, this doesn't work for me so I figure out how this work the first thing you can do is. Type cb slash etc slash apt enter. Just remove this resource by typing rm-frsources.list Then copy this command I will put in the description. And hit enter. Now type a PT hyphen get update. After finished, type CD. Then back to a Linux app copy this command again.
then back to our termux and paste it here. It takes so much time more than before depending on your internet speed so be patient. When it comes to configuring keyboard, select your keyboard layout I will select the first one. Then wait a few minutes, it will ask you to enter the password. Enter a password that you can easily remember. Keep in your mind the password must have more than 8 characters. Type the password again. Well done now our VNC server is started to check one more time type. VNC server hyphen start. Now open the VNC viewer app. Click the plus button for adding our VNC desktop connection. Then fill in input address 127-001-1. And type any name you want I will type Kali. When you finish click create button. Now just tap connect button. Click OK. Then enter the password that you entered in Termux. Wait for a few seconds. Now as you can see Kali Linux with our Android phone is started. Pinch with your two fingers to adjust the screen. And on the top, as you can see there is a keyboard, mouse and more you can use those. We can do whatever we want as we do with Kali Linux with our PC. Let's try to open terminal and keep in your mind all tools are not pre-installed so you've to install tools manually. For example, if we want to install a nano text editor. First, let's check by typing nano. As you can see this command is not found. To install just type apt-get nano. It will install the nano text editor. Now let's try by typing nano. As you can see, it working. So now always keep in your mind to open this again let's show by closing and opening again. Open Termux. Type dot slash start hyphen Kali dot sh. Then type. VNC server hyphen start. Then back to VNC server and configure it will work. This video showed you how to install Kali Linux on your Android smartphone without needing to root your device. This is a great way to run Linux applications on your phone. If you found this video helpful, please like. <laughs>